If you're a heat and air machine technician, what do you need to know and understand about time to provide better service to your clients and why does it matter? This is a fantastic question. I'm Scott Sullivan Bell, coming to you live for HVAC Technician Sales Secrets on a perfect day to talk about sales and business and a fantastic day to talk about you. Today, I really want to go over the concept of time with you. And there's a couple of reasons for this. One, if you're a heat and air machine technician, you have to know that time is really how people view what you do, okay? Uh, if you're a homeowner, this may or may not make sense to you. It's really built for technicians and salespeople and business owners. Let's say that you go out to Mr. Smith, Mrs. Smith, Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones' house, and you roll up on the house, and uh, you look at the equipment, and it looks fairly new, and in your mind, you're like, okay, this will be a quick fix. So you charge, charge your diagnostic fee, you go out there, you open up the back panel of the air conditioner, the heat pump has got a bad capacitor. So you're like, cool, change out the capacitor, charge the invoice for the capacitor, for the dispatch fee, and then you're like, peace out, girl, Scott, I'm done. Well, this is kind of confusing for a homeowner and it's an absolute disservice to them because they're thinking of time, value, and money, and not like in the investment sense where you're looking into the future value of money, it's the, the value of the service that you provide today. So I'm about to give you random numbers. They're not gonna be accurate to what you do. I wanted to make them easy to follow, okay? I got my $12 whiteboard here. So we've got value and then we've got time. And then we've got a hockey stick line in the investment world. They call that the hockey stick. So let's say that your 30 minute service had a total ticket of 250 bucks in the mind of the consumer. They're like, all right, 30 bucks or 30 minutes, 250 bucks, you know, $6 part. I can, I can fathom that. I can swallow that. This is what happens and why it becomes a problem for some technicians is because they don't go through the entire system. Right, uh, this is a typical chuck in a truck play or a one man operation where they don't make sure that everything's working properly. They don't go through and check the contact. They don't go through and check the bearings on the fan motor. They don't check the refrigerator charge. They don't check the evap coil. They don't check the blower motor. They don't check the blower capacitor. And so what happens is there's this disparity back in the day, way back in the day, you know, Things were built entirely different. If you look at like an air conditioner built in 1960, the contactors are freaking huge. The capacitors, they look like a Fody, right? The big green giant capacitors, a 40 microfarad capacitor on an old system. You don't want to mess with those. You don't want to tangle. Those things are like this tall. You don't want to tangle with them. They will knock you on your butt, okay? So you get a lot of people who think that it's just going to be an easy fix. And in their mind, they're like, okay, well, I got this. A... 30 minute repair should cost me 250 bucks. That's their version of time value. And this right here is why you should join HVACTechSecrets.com. I'll give you the goods. Not in the Facebook group, not in the YouTube channel. It's an email publication. You'll love it. I love it. Two emails roughly a week is about what you get. Okay. So let's say that you have a $500 ticket on this made up line. On, like this is not going to be a real number for you. Could be. If you're there for an hour, then you can charge 500 bucks in their mind. And as you start thinking through, as you're dealing with certain people who are kind of persnickety, as you're going to say, they may get really upset. I, I keep track of all the comments on my YouTube channel. And for some reason, most homeowners who comment think that a service ticket should be 250 bucks. Or they say things like, well, it's an easy part it's an easy part and the technician is just going to be in and they're just going to be out because in their mind, guy shows up, they're going to go and say, well, it should be just one part. There's no way that a $6 capacitor or $5 capacitor, $2 capacitor should cost me $250. Well, they don't understand fixed costs in a business. Most business owners don't understand fixed costs. So why do you think a, a consumer is going to? Why do you think a homeowner is going to? You have to pay attention to how long you're on a job as well as why you need to go through the entire unit, why you need to take your time. So a couple things for you on an operation side. A click on a digital marketing campaign can cost between 200 and 1500 bucks. So there's the cost of getting you to the door, the truck, the insurance, the truck stock, the staffing take, to take the calls. All this stuff goes into getting you to a door. A $79 dispatch fee does not cover that. A $250 capacitor does not cover that. And so what happens is business owners will tell you, hey, like to do the right thing, which is the right thing for the homeowner, 
you got to go through the whole entire unit because here's what's going to happen. And I saw this a lot when I worked with technicians and when I was on the management team, that a technician would roll up, they would find the easiest repair, and then they're like, you know, it's busy outside, it's hot outside, I need to get to my next call so I'm home by 5 o'clock so I can play video games. And it would always happen that the tech that did that would cause problems because there was more issues. It was the easy repair. It was the fast and quick thing to do. So it's a disservice to your client to not go through the entire unit. It is a disservice to not make sure that everything else is uh, working like it's supposed to be. I, I, I think of all the things that I go through professionally in my life. You know, if I got to talk to an attorney, I've got to talk to a dentist, I got to talk to anybody. They go through everything. They have a checklist. They're like, hey, here's all the things we got to take a look at. I just had my teeth cleaned last week. And the, the woman that was there, awesome woman, working off a checklist. All right, check the gums, check, did everything. And she had like a CRM. She had a computer system that was saying like, here's all the things that you need to do. And as you have these conversations, realize that by you taking the time to go through, you're providing value and you're working on the timeline. Super important for you over time. And there are, I will share this with you. There are some people that no matter what in their head, they think that a $6 part they're, they they say it's fair. It's fair for me to pay 200 bucks for that. Or it's fair. They have like a 10 time or a 20 time multiplier in their brain of what they think that part is not understanding how business works. Okay. And I'm going to share with you, if you have this type of conversation with that person, they don't care. You're not changing their mind. Right? They're, they're stuck in their ways. I want to give you the view of you absolutely positively have to go through every piece of equipment and take a look at everything because in the mind of the buyer, you want them to understand you have value. You want to spend the time. And at some point, you're going to have to go over the money. You're going to have to explain what the cost of the repair is. And if you're going to plot it on this and you're going to walk in the door 15 minutes and say $1,500, that person's going to be very upset. I've made that mistake. You got one of three things to do from here. Just one of three. Find the subscribe button. Click on it. And every time I send out a video, you'll get an update. Two, hit follow. Three. Share this video with a friend. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.